Ever scrolled through social media and seen someone bragging about their stock market wins? Maybe you've even dabbled in a fantasy stock exchange game. The idea of owning a piece of a company, watching it grow, and profiting along the way is undeniably exciting. But where do you even begin if you are a complete beginner? Today, we're diving into the world of eToro, a popular online platform that allows you to trade various assets, including stocks. But the question on everyone's mind is, can you buy real stocks on eToro, or is it something different? Hold on to your hats, because things can get a little technical when it comes to online investing. Buckle up, and let's break down the world of eToro and stock ownership. Imagine you're a sneaker enthusiast. You come across a limited edition pair you absolutely must have. There are two ways to own these sneakers. Direct purchase, you buy the actual shoes from a store or reseller. They're yours, you can wear them, sell them later, or keep them forever. This is like buying a real stock. You own a piece of the company, and it's reflected in your portfolio. Contract for difference, CFD here's where things get interesting. Instead of buying the actual sneakers, you make a contract with someone else. You agree that if the value of the shoes goes up, you'll make money, and if it goes down, you lose money. But you never actually own the shoes themselves. This is similar to a CFD for stocks. eToro and the two sides of the coin. The good news is, eToro offers both options. Let's dissect this further. Buying real stocks, going long when you buy a stock on eToro and choose a non-leveraged long position, you're essentially buying the underlying asset, just like our limited edition sneaker example. eToro purchases and holds the stock on your behalf. You'll benefit if the price goes up and can even receive dividends, a portion of the company's profit, if the stock pays them. This is where the magic of stock ownership happens. CFDs, a different ball game, eToro also allows trading stocks through CFDs. Remember our sneaker contract? That's the basic idea here. With CFDs, you're not buying the actual stock, but speculating on its price movement. This can be a riskier strategy, so it's crucial to understand the mechanics before diving in. So, which should you choose? Honestly, it depends on your investment goals and risk tolerance. Newbie investor, if you're starting out, buying real stocks might be a safer bet. You're invested in the company's long-term success, and there's a certain sense of ownership that comes with it. Seasoned trader, CFDs can be a tool for experienced investors looking to capitalize on short-term price movements. However, remember, the risks are higher, and you could potentially lose more than you invest. Beyond buying and selling, what eToro offers? eToro goes beyond just buying stocks. Here are some additional features that make it an attractive platform, especially for beginners. Fractional shares, want to invest in a company like Tesla but can't afford a whole share? eToro allows you to buy a fraction of a share, making it accessible to those with smaller budgets. Copy trading, feeling overwhelmed by research? eToro lets you copy the trades of successful investors on the platform. It's a way to learn by observing and potentially benefit from their strategies. But remember, past performance isn't a guarantee of future results. Remember, there's no free lunch. While eToro offers a user-friendly platform, there are always fees involved. Transaction fees, account maintenance charges, and currency conversion costs can all eat into your profits. Be sure to research all the fees associated with eToro before you invest. The world of stock ownership can be exciting, but it's also important to be realistic. Do your research, understand the risks involved, and never invest more than you can afford to lose. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.